Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to turn um, your old clothing, um, fabric, anything like that into canvas art. So this is an old dress of mine um, that I had um, that I didn't wanna get rid of when it got too tight. So um, what I decided to do was turn it into some art and it's hanging on my wall. So I will show you guys how I did that in just a second. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm gonna talk about what you guys are gonna need. So you're gonna need a piece of fabric or an old dress, an old shirt. Um, I know a lot of people who do um, like their favorite sports teams or whatever the case may be. If you collect shirts or anything like that, you're gonna need that fabric from that. Um, a staple gun. And then you're also gonna need a canvas. I decided to use a canvas that I had. I don't even know what I used this for in the past, but it got scuffed up pretty bad. So um, I wanna use this one to um, be covered up. So let's go ahead and get started on what we're gonna be. Okay, so the first thing is I'm going to be kind of measuring out the canvas and the fabric that I have. I'm not gonna cut away the phrase until after I am done with this project. So I'm actually gonna turn it this way. Okay, so here is kind of the design layout that I want it to look like. So now I'm just gonna kind of fit it around, come to the back. Now this part is very, very important. The first part that you do, you wanna pull it as tight as you possibly can you're gonna take your staple gun and you are going to staple it. As you, it's pretty tight. So what I'm gonna do now is go on over to the other side and go ahead and start stapling this side. Sorry for moving the camera, I just hit it. back, hit a staple from this side, and then I'm just going to do a third one. Okay. Now, when doing this part, you almost want to um, wrap it like a present. So I don't know if you guys can see that. So you want to kind of fold your corners in. And what you're going to do here is where you folded your corner in, you're going to make sure you staple that part. So I put two staples, sorry if you couldn't see that. I put two staples um, in that part right there where I stapled down. And then at the end, you can go around and cut it. Okay, so now what I'm doing is wrapping it like a present on this side as well. Actually, I'm gonna cut some of this excess fabric because it's too much. I don't need all of this fabric. I'm just gonna and at the end you can cut as much or as less as you want and this side I'll also cut at the end as well so here I wrapped it like a present gonna staple it and then gonna go to the staple one more and as you guys can see I did two here Gonna bring it to the other side <clears throat> and going to make sure that it can be wrapped like a present on this side as well because I want all of my edges to look the same. Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and staple, staple. And then this side, go ahead and staple it. And this will be the same with your t-shirt. If you do, if you are gonna be using like a t-shirt, make sure you cut off all the excess uh, fabric from the shirt because a t-shirt, unless you have like a big canvas, you're gonna have a lot of excess fabric. So I'm just gonna go around and cut 
um, you know, all the access fabric that I'm not going to be using. And I actually keep my scrap fabric. I, you know, I never know what I'm going to use it for. Um, I tend to use like a lot of stuff for like scrapbooking and different things like that. So make sure you recycle. And if you have any flyaways, um, go back and staple like here. It's kind of um, coming up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead back and staple it. And also, okay, so now I'm going to flip it over and this is the finished product, you guys. I am all done with my fabric um, canvas. So I'm going to also show you guys just a quick little um, thing if you want to add like a 3D element to it. You can add like, I have the word laugh here, so you can add something like laugh or like if you have a picture, you can also put that on there so it looks like it's almost three dimensional. Um, I think I'm gonna just leave it plain for right now until I figure out what I wanna do. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week in next week's video. Um, let me know if you like this video, if you're gonna try it at home or what DIY um, art projects have you done at home to make your walls pop. Um, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm Shiny with Dream Inspire Create. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Um, thank you guys so much. See you guys next week. Bye.